Hello, I have been doing something a little different this lockdown. I've been doing a bit of learning and I've been learning to uh, prepare for my amateur radio foundation exam, which I've passed, by the way. I passed it last week and I just want to talk about how I got uh, prepared for the exam and hopefully it will help others do the same. So. I've always been a big fan of um, radio, as you'll probably see from this channel, there are a lot of radio related projects, but I thought it, it's about time that I started um, properly exploring this interest. And I've always wanted to do it, but always got a bit put off um, getting uh, get, taking the exam. I think it was mainly because it involved going to a club, um, which I've no problem with. Um, but also there was a practical side as well and it seemed a bit complicated but due to lockdown and the pandemic uh, you can take the theory exam online and there's no need for a practical or visit the club uh, which sounds great but i'll explain it in, a, in a little while um, the problems i'm having so yeah i studied for it uh, there are some great uh, resources out there and i just googled how to prepare for your foundation exam and up popped Essex Ham. Now Essex Ham are a club in Essex that um, will put on a free training course online. And you know how when you meet some genuinely nice people, just they're just nice. Well, that's how I would describe these these guys. They take time out of their their busy days to invest um, in training other people up and just to promote the hobby of amateur radio and it took me probably about two two and a half months um, every week or so they'll drip feed the next module online um, and sometimes they would host a, a, an online q a session which i found really useful and it's not until you're actually dialed into one of those sessions that you realize just how many people are taking the exam there is there is a clear spike in interest during during the pandemic in this hobby which is brilliant so yeah i was umming and ahhing about when to take the exam and um i just took it i just booked it and took it and i think that's my first piece of advice you could be umming and ahhing forever deciding whether it's appropriate or the right time to take your test book it early just book it um, I'll put a link in the description. Um, just go online and book it. And um, for me, especially having that deadline to work towards really spurred me on. Um, I was revising whenever, whenever possible. And it allowed me not to get a bit, not to get slack, which is what usually happens with me. I sort of, you know, come off the boil a bit and uh, slow down. But this kept me, allowed me to keep going. So book your test early. Although the training course um, um, at uh, online was free, uh, there is actually a small fee to book the the actual exam, and I think it was I think it was twenty seven pounds, which isn't isn't too bad in the grand scheme of things. So yeah, my first piece of advice was, if you're training for it already or starting to train, book your exam. I then booked it. I then took it. It was online, and they had someone. Uh, um, online just watching me just in case I wasn't cheating or anything it's 26 questions and I think you're allowed to get seven wrong so um, it's not too bad actually the the threat the passing threshold isn't too isn't too harsh I think I think it was uh, I think it's a fair fair test it's multiple choice um, so at least you've got a chance a chance of getting a question right that you don't you don't know about um, and in the end, I got 23 out of 26 right. So I was, I was quite pleased with that. And you get the results straight away. And within uh, within a week, well, they say 10 days, but um, within four days, I got through my certificate. Yay, I got through my certificate. Now, this certificate is, an, is interesting because it confirms that you passed the exam, but you're not quite there yet for getting on the air. Um, you need to once you have your certificate, you'll have a candidate number on it and you take that candidate number and you register it with Ofcom and you can register 
for your call sign. Mine starts with M7. So foundation levels currently start with M7 and you can choose the three letters that follow like M7 ABC. You can choose them or you can get Ofcom to just allocate the next available uh, letters to you. And I went through this was really this is harder than the exam trying to choose those three letters because I wanted to choose something um, which was quite fun and not too random. And as I'm going to be speaking it all the time as I, as I'm as I'm um, on the air, um, I want it quite easy, something quite easy that trips off the tongue quite easy. So I went through all the ones like J, Z, Jez, and I really wanted T, A for, for T, M7, T. But um, nope, they were taken. And in the end, I just went with MCU, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Why not? So my call sign is M7, MCU. And because it's all online these days, uh, it's registered straight away and you have your call sign. As soon as you register it, you'll get your call sign and you you can download your, your, your license documentation from the website straight away. And from then on, you're, you're, you're good to go. As I said, due to the due to the pandemic and everyone in lockdown, uh, there's no practical element to the exam, uh, which, as I said, initially, I thought brilliant. It makes it really easy to pass the exam um, without jumping through too many hoops. But once I got my call sign, it soon became apparent that um, I was a bit microphone shy. It's just like, OK, now what do I do? Um, and I think this is why the practical element and joining clubs is really important. Um, so I'm I'm a, I'm going to join a club as soon as soon as possible, and just get um, just get a bit more confidence and getting to meet people um, who are in the hobby as well. I've bought myself a little radio, um, the Bofang uh, UV five R, which they recommend um, as, as sort of like a low cost starting starting radio. Um, go online. There's a bit of snobbery about these. Um, but yeah, I'm quite happy with it. It cost it cost under thirty pounds. Um, the aerial that it came with is a little little one like this. But they always advise you to buy uh, upgrade the aerial. And I've uh, I've popped a link in the in the description if it if it would help. And we've been going out <coughs> out and about. Um, the bands are quite quiet at the minute <laughs> minute round here. Um, but I have made my first contact and I was really pleased to do that. And it was someone who, um, once we got talking, it was someone who um, told me that it took took him a good three months before he picked up the microphone and started started calling CQ to make to make contacts himself. So I, I, I don't feel bad. And I think it's it sounds like it's quite a common problem um, being microphone shy. Um, and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to explore different ways in, in which to boost my confidence. I still can't join a club as yet, but there are other ways in which I can I can get practice and um, and, and just build my confidence as we go. Um, I would like to build a proper antenna, maybe on the side of the house for this. So it stops me going out uh, in, the, in the freezing cold. Um, luckily, I'm quite high up where my house is. So uh, as you'll learn, height is might. So I think that uh, will 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 put me in uh, a good position. Um, but we'll see. We will see. So, yeah. So just just to summarize, if you're tr currently training for your foundation uh, license or thinking about it, um, here are my top tips. Um, I'm not an expert. It's just. Um, things that helped me out. First was, as I said, book your exam early, um, get online uh, and book it as soon as you can. And then you've got a, you've got a deadline to work to. Um, the second one is sign up to Essex Ham, the, the foundation course, extremely helpful and useful. And yeah, they've just been brilliant. They've just been brilliant. Um, the third one is take the time to listen. If you've already bought a radio, Take the time to listen so you get used to the to the um, there's a certain et etiquette uh, and the way conversations and transmissions flow. Get used to get just listen. There's nothing stopping you listening while you're training for your for your for your exam. 
get used to listening and getting used to how people conduct themselves when they're when they're transmitting. Uh, I also bought a book. Um, there's many, many, many additional resources out there and books uh, and online websites. But there was one particular book which I really found useful and I'll, I'll pop a link in there again. Just a just a cheap little book. Um, sort of kept it on me all the time and just dipped in and out and uh, started testing myself. So, yeah, I would um, I would recommend I'd recommend a book as well. Anyway, I hope you found this useful. I'm really excited. I'm quite chuffed that I passed it, um, mainly because my brain is is old and it's quite tired. And it was quite a shock to the system trying to learn all this in new information. Um, but it it soon I, I think the brain is a bit like a, a muscle. It, it, you need to exercise it. And it wasn't long before I, you know, the information was retained in my head um, better. But at the start, it was a bit painful. So stick with it. Stick with it. Um, good luck in your studies. And uh, M7 MCU, over to you. 73s. Bye bye.